How should you structure your support points so that your audience feels like they've gotten benefit and they can take action? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In other videos, you've heard me talk about supporting your main, your foundational phrase with support points. What's the best way to create those? Well, I got some revelation this week sitting in a course with my mentors, uh, helping me go through a, a, a keynote that I'm creating. Here's the revelation. Each of your subpoints should have three parts. Number one is a description of the subpoint and the problem it addresses. Number two is a quick story to illustrate how this problem can be overcome. And number three is a how-to step. So for example, when I'm talking about presentation skills and I discuss how do you create a positive mindset? Well, I talk about the negatives. What, what happens if you have a negative mindset about speaking? Chances are you won't speak. That can hurt your chances of becoming better known in your field, feeling confident, advancing your career talking about some of the drawbacks to having that negative mindset. Number two is to tell a story of someone who has overcome a negative mindset. I sometimes talk about myself, my own journey going through as a financial planner when I was told I better become a better speaker or lose my job, how my life transformed because of that. I may share a story about a client. The third part is the how-to. How do you overcome this problem? In a keynote, I'm not going to go into all the details, but I'll give an overview. With mindset, it's all about preparation. The more you practice and rehearse and get feedback and make changes, the better you feel about your material, you're more confident, that confidence shows you leave a lasting impact and you feel more positive about speaking. As you're creating your support points, remember this three-step process. Number one, describe the challenge and the problem it creates. Number two, offer a story or vignette of success, someone who's done well to overcome the problem. And number three, give a how-to step. Don't get into all the nitty gritty details, but just offer uh, an overview of how people can overcome this problem. Do this and your audiences will walk away feeling like they've gotten an entertaining presentation, but they've also gotten content they can immediately put to use. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Yeah.